So welcome to this review of the Engui Engine X Folding Fat Tire Electric Bike. So it has a 250 watt hub drive motor, a 13 amp hour battery, has a seven speed Shimano shifter gears, derailleur gears, has a claimed range of up to 50 miles with a 60 kilogram rider. I suspect I would probably get close to 40 miles on that. It costs £1,049. And as normal with these reviews, I'm not being paid to say anything nice about the bike. My opinions will be my own and I'll give my honest opinion on it. So let's get on with it. Oh, and the bike weighs 38 kilograms. <sighs> yeah. So you have to insert the key. There we go. Come on. Just off, out for a ride. Got my sister with me. But she doesn't want to be filmed, so. <laughs> but she's going to do a bit of filming on the other camera. It was always on fire, our house, our dream. We were dancing on a wire, reckless, it seemed. We found holes in these walls, we like what we saw. Seems so strong until it falls, the fire must fall. Right, so what do I think of this bike? I, I think it's really good actually. It's a, sort of, handlebars are quite high. 
so you do get used to that but it's quite a firm ride it's not particularly soft maybe I need to adjust the suspension on the front but uh, yeah brakes are okay they're not they're not the best brakes I think I've ever known and mainly probably because they're mechanical but yeah it does it soaks up the bumps there's no problem and you feel like you're way up in the air which you probably are with these high handlebars a high riding position but yeah well, we've gone about eight miles so far it doesn't feel like anything Do what? Where are we I was just going to check. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We've come about nine miles. So I've got this on power level four, which is probably okay. It goes up to five, and it's very easy on four hardly any effort at all but we're, it's particularly flat round here so not many hills to climb but I'm sure it wouldn't would come accomplish those with no trouble at all it's, it's easily doing its maximum speed 15 miles an hour I'll probably go faster if I wanted hello <laughs> well yeah I just, just want to say I, I had mixed feelings about this bike when I started and um, I think it's uh, changed my opinion that suspension is quite, quite firm on this. I may need to adjust the uh, rebound on that, but uh, I'm really enjoying it, really loving it. Yeah, it's been good. Right, let's head home. And away. So let's have a look at the settings on this uh, on off switch at the bottom of this thing here so switch switch it off hold it switch it on press it once and the display comes on you've got a headlamp button here we'll leave that on because it'll give us a bit more light in the shed uh, you've got plus and minus buttons here and they in this display they adjust the power level and we've got it set to go up to five there and zero in this case is off if you hold the minus button here it will go into handlebar crawl which will basically move the bike very slowly and be useful for getting up uh, steep slopes or over rocky embankments or something now there's a general settings menu and what you do there is you press and hold the plus and the minus button and the key ones here are the trip meter so if I press the I button I've got the trip meter set to not reset and I want it to reset every time I go on a trip so I'll put it on yes and then I press the I button to accept that the other one is the units backlight this is units so press the I button to get in there and one is miles per hour and two is kilometers per hour press the I button to set that I just hold that hold the I button to get back to the main menu the next one is called general parameters so I press and hold the plus button and then I hold the I button and the minus button at the same time and that gets me into general parameters the one I want to mention here is LS and that sets the maximum speed it comes preset at sorry let's get into it go into LS press I to set it and it comes preset at 25 kilometers an hour So 
press and hold the I button to get out of there. So custom settings is the next one. Pl press and hold plus and minus and then press and hold minus and plus together for two seconds and then you get into the custom settings. And the all sorts of different settings in here. I'm not, not going to go through all of them but this one is the interesting one. So press the I button in here and this sets the, the levels of power that you can use. You've got 0 to 5, 1 to 5, 0 to 7, 0, 1 to 7, 1 to 9. So you can have like nine levels of power if you want. I'm going to leave it on 0 to 5 because I know when I switch it on it's going to be on 0 so there's no power. So you haven't got the danger of it setting off without you being ready. So I'm going to leave it on that. Press and hold the I button to get back to the main display. Now if, all, if you get all the settings wrong and you're not sure what you've done, you can reset it to default. And the way you do that is hold the minus button in the main display, minus button and the I button, and it goes into default. Set it to yes, press I. and it resets it. And that's basically it. There is a lot more on these uh, these menus but uh, I think that could make a whole video about that. So what do I think of the Engui Engine X bike? Let's start at the front. Okay, I do like these solid spoke wheels, the Amoy spoke wheels. They look quite nice nice in black and uh, obviously you've got the chunky tyres, the fat tyres, four inch tyres, four by twenty, do give a comfortable ride. I like the fact it comes with mud guards, I have got a little bit of mud on it from, from yesterday. It has only got um, mechanical disc brakes but they seem to work okay and there's no sort of squeaking or squealing from them so that's good. Got the shocks doesn't seem to be a, a, a bar on there which gives you an indication of how much they're, uh, they, they're operating. And there is an adjuster on there. I am to be honest, I haven't really played with the adjuster. You can have it locked as well with that one there. I like the fact it comes with lights. It's got lights front and back. That's really good. And just moving to the frame. The frame is really sort of chunky. I assume that's because of the size of the battery. I'll show you it folded in a minute. Um, it's nice that it's got foldable pedals. That's good on a foldable bike. Very useful. And there's your shock absorber there. I'm getting a load of mud on the kitchen floor. I'm going to be in trouble here. What is very strange is the fact you've got to have the key in here to operate the bike, which means this key is going to get really mucky you have to put it in to be able to operate the bike. I assume it's a safety feature, but like I say, I think that's going to get pretty muddy. And if you take it out, the key's going to get mu uh, keyhole's going to get muddy as well. So a bit of a strange thought that it would have been better on the side with a uh, with a removable key and a, a plastic bung. Uh, bit of a strange choice that one. Um, yeah, obviously you've got rear suspension on it as well. That's really good. It's quite a chunk. Look at this chunky frame like that. And it's really good. So it feels really solid. Looks like people could sit on there, but it does say max. What does it say? Max 25. If I just switch it on. And you've got a brake light there. Quite a powerful brake light. Okay, again, mud guards on the back, mechanical disc brakes seem to work okay. And you've got a guard for the derailleur, seven speed derailleur. The seat is pretty comfortable. I would say it's not the most comfortable I've seen. It's quite, I think I prefer it a little bit, a little less, less soft, I think, maybe. Uh, I was beginning to feel it after about 10 miles or so. Right, coming to the handlebars now. 
it's got a really odd long um, headstock that's what I, I think it is I'm not quite sure why it's quite so tall I mean you've got an adjuster on there so you could bring the handlebars up even further it's uh, you can see how tall the handlebars are compared to the seat but it's okay it, it does get you sitting up quite quite a lot now, I think I mentioned when I was putting it together, the front brake is on the left hand side, which is wrong. Uh, for UK, that should be on the other side. Just a note to Ingui, really, but having said that, I haven't changed it and I've got used to it. It's a little bell, I prefer a little horn or something, really, but it's a little bit of a cheaper option, I think. And you've got the sort of standard uh, shifters you seem to get with these bikes, the Shimano 7 speed. That one uh, changes up and you have to push it forward to change down. Obviously the brake on there. It is fitted with a throttle and uh, the throttle only, according to the settings, only works as it, uh, say this again, the throttle works uh, as per UK law uh, according to how it's come configured. It can be changed but it will only take you up to, I think it's four or five kilometers an hour and no more than the throttle systems cuts out, which is what you want for getting away from traffic lights. So that's, that's okay. Like I say, you can change a lot of settings in the settings menu if you're prepared to do battle with that. And uh, I found that it is quite a battle doing with the settings menu there. Other than that, I do do quite like the bike. It's it's good. Let's let's fold it up, and we'll show you what it looks like folded. Right, let's fold it up. There's a little catch here. That you that you push forward, and then you go that way to unlock it. Another catch on this side as well. Just switch it off. Yeah, so a little catch on there. Right, and that then. How's that to fold down? Okay, so you can drop the seat a bit. It doesn't go all the way down, I notice, it only goes about to about there. Folded the pedals in already, they're folded in. Then what you do is you put your knee behind it and then fold it, just hold, hold it there. And bring, remember to put the stand back. That's, that's in its folded position there. Okay, let me just show you the battery connectors there. You can take the battery out there. This is the thing here now. That does that touch? Now that one doesn't actually touch these connectors. A little bit worried that that might fold round and touch those. But I think that's all right. It's still quite big in its folded sort of position. As you can see, that there's no sort of. Uh, Tell a lie. There is a sort of protector there to stop the fork bashing against that, so that's quite good. But yeah, let's do some measurements. I'm hoping to put it in this bag that I've got underneath, but we'll have a look. It's the seat about there. That's uh, 79 centimeters, say 80 centimeters across the width. Here from the handlebar to the pedal, probably just about 60 centimeters, and the whole length of it. I'll make that just do that again. About there to there, make that do about 100 and 102 centimeters. I'll put the uh, dimensions up on the screen that the manufacturer give us. But will it go in the bag? That's the question. Oh, 
Wow, there we are. Whew. Don't think the bag was specifically designed for that. It's a Rhino walk bag. I'll put the links in the description below. But uh, just about fits in. Oh, blimey. That's incredibly heavy. But it's manageable, just about. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's a danger you're going to forget that, of course. I just noticed it's got some markings on there, so you can remember which setting you had it on. Okay. That's it. Yeah, I'm quite impressed with this. I mean, it is a beast. They all seem to be quite chunky things, these uh, fat bike bikes, and particularly being a folder bike as well. But yeah, I will be using this uh, in our new motorhome because I think it can fit in the garage. Um, probably can't take it with us in an existing motorhome because we haven't got a garage. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to getting some more rides on it and I'll keep you updated how I'm getting on with it. So if you found this useful, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing because it really does help. And uh, we'll see you soon. Bye then.